what's happening guys uh we're back with another one here uh today i've got a service call no cool a customer reset the breakers uh turned it back on nothing happened the inside unit's running the outside unit's not running uh so i'm gonna go in here and see what we got uh turn the thermostat on set it to cool go straight outside and see what's happening on that that outside unit so let's see what we get let's see what we can do let's do it Okay, so I got the uh, thermostat set to cool, uh, the inside unit turned on, the outside unit we've got an old Duquesne. I'm going to get this panel open and see what we got. The five minute time delay is up, so the condenser should have turned on by now. Old Duquesne heat pump. Okay, so we've got the defrost board outside, very similar to a Linux defrost board. Uh, with the status lights right now, it's showing a standby status, which means uh, the unit's not, get, not getting a call from the thermostat. So I'm going to check for low voltage and see if we have low voltage call to the board. Uh, if we do have low voltage call to the board, then we might simply have just a bad defrost board outside. So, let's see what we got. Got my meter set up. Let's see what we got. So, I'm going to go from Y1 to common. And you can see we got 20, 27 volts, so we have 24 volts sent to this board. To tell it to turn on and cooling. Not too sure what we got going on here with this condenser fan motor. Almost looks like the other side of the cap wire is not connected, but so we've got 24 volts. Why the common? You can see that there. Uh, it's a heat pump, so let's see if we have 24 volts at our reversing valve. What we do. So for whatever reason, this board is not acknowledging that it's getting 24 volts from the thermostat. Okay, so next step is for me to go ahead and test the uh, switches down here. So I'm going to go ahead and check this uh, pressure switch, low pressure switch. Freaking engineers. Okay. So I'm going to be doing a continuity test on this pressure switch. And that pressure switch is closed. Like it should be. So I know the pressure switch is good. Next step is going to be checking that defrost switch. Definitely make it hard to get in there. Defrost switch should, should not have continuity. It's closed and this defrost switch is bad. And uh, it's open so this defrost is okay go ahead and put 
put it back where it goes. low pressure switch has jumped out so we don't have to worry about that unless it's shorted let's do an inspection on the wire wire looks okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reset this board see what happens take my red wire off let it sit there for a few seconds back on now you can see we have an alternating flash and uh, what that means is it's in a five minute time delay so now it's acknowledging that it's getting 24 volts going into a time delay and uh, I'm going to wait for this five minute time delay to do its thing and see what happens. Okay, you guys, so the five minute delay was over with. Uh, this, the system went to fire up, literally started for like maybe a half a second, uh, and then went back into a standby operation. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test for 24 volts again if if there was a, a short or something like that the board would definitely go into a another five minute time delay if it didn't pop the fuse so uh, with that being said I believe we've got a bad board outside somebody's already took the fan uh, terminal from the defrost board stuck it on top of the contactor so uh, that kind of tells me already that we've had an issue with this board before and somebody bypass so to speak the uh, fan control condenser fan motor control let's see if we got 24 volts And we got 24 volts. Well, there you have it. We got a bad board, bad defrost board, uh, causing the system not to start. The inside unit runs, but the outside unit doesn't. Okay. You can see we got some corrosion on that board right there, right there. Sometimes you see a big black spot, burnt spot, but this one's got some corrosion on it. Definitely the original board. So I'm going to get it bypassed, get the customer some AC until we can come back out with the new board. Alright, reversing valve wires.
lady wants AC, so I'm gonna jump this reversing valve out. Get our common and our yellow. Beautiful Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Beautiful Friday out here in Denelan. Got the birds flying, birds chirping. Make it easier on the next tech. I don't know who they're gonna send out here to change this thing out. Uh, it could be me, but it could be somebody else. So I'm gonna take this wire up here so that doesn't confuse anybody. I remove it from the contactor. Could confuse somebody. So all right. So we got everything isolated. Things are still hooked up. I'm not doing nothing. Stick that down in there. Get this uh, plugged in here. Going straight to our contactor. Tape up our wires here. Fire this thing up. See what happens. Okay, you guys, so I've got the uh, board jumped out and I'll kind of explain to you what I did. Uh, so I did it the simple way um, the fan wire for the high voltage on coming off this board here was already placed for me on the contact or somebody's already jumped it out uh, probably had recent issues with the board or whatever the case may be uh, so the high voltage for the fan is on top of that contactor now um, and then I took the low voltage off of the board I could utilize the orange wire and uh, cut the reversing valve wires back and you know fully control it like that but uh, right now I didn't want to do that uh, it's kind of simple fast and easy in the field way uh, common wire yellow wire utilize that to pull that contactor in reverse and valve is jumped off of the common and uh, 24 volt wire to the contactor coil 
So uh, the five minute time delay just, just came up and you can see the contact is pulled in now. So now that we have the reversing valve jumped out, uh, the board's not being utilized, I can apply high voltage back to the unit and it'll fire up and cool. Uh, and you can see here I've got 26 volts going to my contactor coil now. So I'm gonna put this disconnect in and let her eat. Ooh. Okay, let me get some gauges on this thing, make sure the pressures are okay, and uh, go inside, talk to the homeowner, see what she wants to do, and get on to the next one. There you guys have it. Uh, we had a bad defrost board. Outside unit was supposed to be running. It was getting 24 volts from the thermostat, uh, but it was not doing anything because it was a, a bad board, so... Uh, you seen me, I, I bypassed the board to get the customer some AC until we can come back out with the part replacement. And uh, it's on to the next one. And if you like this uh, video, if it helped you out in any kind of way, hit that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Peace.